heart of an education at Four Dwellings is the ethos that every child matters. Every child has access to a broad curriculum and a body of supported and dedicated staff to ensure that the ethos is met. We have 720 students here and because of the size of the school we also can have very much the individual touch. We also give our children a report every 10 weeks and we reward them for doing well on that report then get a bronze, silver or a gold award. We also engage with our students in asking them what makes a good school and pupil voice is a huge part of this school so we listen to what the students say, they work with us and we also run family learning so we do a lot working with our parents and encouraging our parents to take a part and really claim their school. Well, we became a science specialist college in 2005 and the science specialist has enabled us to promote science to our students and the local community. Birmingham is a science city and through the development of the Central Technology Belt there are going to be many jobs in the field of science and technology and it's very important that we equip our students with the skills needed for these jobs so that we are securing their future beyond the gates of Ford Weddings. Our aim is to make science fun and relevant to students' everyday life and to broaden their knowledge of science-based careers. The science status of Ford Dwellings has enabled us to work together with the local industry, other schools, colleges and universities to meet the needs of our students and the community. Well, these are exciting times for Ford Dwellings. We're part of the educational reform 11 to 19 focusing in secondary schools. We've been selected to work with QCA, the Quality and Curriculum Authority. One of nine schools selected across the country and we're going to help develop a prototype website. What the website's designed to do is to show the curriculum in its entirety so you can see the path a learner will take through secondary school. Its aims are to share the big picture. What we've done, what we've decided at Four Dwellings is we want a skills-led curriculum. We want to make sure that our learners leave um, with high chances of employability. We're going to focus on personal learning and thinking skills but also functional skills. One of the things that's quite exciting about this project is that we will be working in collaboration with teachers and learners writing this curriculum so that everything we do will be focused on the learners and the skills they need to succeed in life. Another facet to this is that we will be working with QCA to deliver nationwide training. On Thursday of this week I'll be delivering training to 50 head teachers in Bristol and hopefully bring back lots of ideas and good practice to help shape the curriculum here at Four Dwellings. We are also at the cutting edge for our use of pupil voice as the latest Carnegie report concludes. Our school prides itself on making life better for all by hearing the voices of all. Students join the learning and teaching discussion groups to talk about current focuses and give input to the school improvement plan. They are also able to raise issues that are pertinent to them. Within the school we have got different discussion groups such as the Year 11 student committee which discusses topics about how to help the year 11 students advise for exams. Every half term, a couple of students meet up with a teacher and talk about what they feel about their education, what needs to be changed. What makes a good teacher is someone that listens to people's voices, talks to them about their opinions and what they feel about their work. I've been involved in delivering a staff training day, which was a bit nerve-wracking, but it really helped my confidence. I shared with teachers the best learning I had ever experienced. They asked me questions, it was great to be listened to and to have my opinion valued. I look forward to helping write the new curriculum. I am on the Year 11 committee. That means I make new ideas to help make Year 11 successful in their GCSEs. I am part of a group called the Youth Marshals. Marshals are a group of Year 11 students who are selected by senior members of staff to carry out jobs around the school. I chose to become a Youth Marshal because it will improve my CV and help me handle responsibilities in the future. Teachers are interested in what we think and that will help us to make better progress. We've even helped to put this DVD together and I think that having a real text to create has helped me to improve my media skills. It's difficult to categorise a Four Dwellings pupil as each pupil is unique, but enthusiasm and an interest in the world are qualities that are fostered and valued by the school. Happy, secure pupils who have a definite voice within the school and a broad and interesting curriculum ensure learners make good progress. Ofsted recognised this in their last inspection of the school in 2006, which the school was labelled good with outstanding features. At Four Dwellings we try and make our curriculum both accessible and appropriate. That means in the first three years looking to give support where pupils need it and looking to really stretch pupils 
So for example, in year nine, here in the French classroom, pupils uh, do GCSE early entry if we think that they're good enough. At Key Stage 4, at the ages of 14 to 16, pupils are presented with loads and loads of choice nowadays, much more than I ever had. What we try and give them now is guidance within that choice to give them the, the most appropriate course for their ability to be stretching the most able and be looking to provide it for all abilities across the range of children that we receive. When we get to Year 9, we can choose our options. From the many different subjects, I chose Media Studies, Music, Electronics and Construction. Some of our courses take place at local colleges, which gives full dwelling students the opportunity to experience uh, further education. And other courses take place uh, closer to home. For example, at Hunters Hill, we send students to do a motor vehicle studies course. Queen Zone, which is on the school site, also allows our students to do construction and hairdressing. While the ASDAN and Prince's Trust groups have the opportunity to work with the Woodgate Valley Ranger uh, at our local nature reserve. Regardless of the subjects chosen, pupils report a high level of satisfaction with their provision. They go on to achieve a wide variety of qualifications, both academic and vocational. To further enrich their curriculum, pupils also have access to a range of extracurricular activities and residential trips which are run by school staff. Staff from the school are not excluded from the learning opportunities provided by such trips and links have been set up with other schools in Chicago. Recently, a basketball team from Prosser High School spent some time at Four Dwellings and shared tips on basketball. The school has run an interim report system now for quite some time where uh, the kids have an interim report every eight to ten weeks. Now this is a data-based uh, report which feeds back into a central reward system. The children are all rewarded on a termly basis with varying trips that get to be better during the year. Students of the year the following year uh, get a chance to be taken to Paris. If we get three awards on our interims, we get a reward trip like to the cinema or we can go bowling. We're going to go bowling this time and I'm really looking forward to beating my mates. Obviously, if pupils are to achieve success then they need more than a broad curriculum. Excellent facilities and an award-winning head teacher. Ofsted recognises that good progress that pupils make throughout the school is in no small part due to the excellent care, guidance and support they receive. Pastoral care at four dwellings is absolutely outstanding and it was uh, identified by a recent Ofsted report. It's not just uh, inside school that we support, it's families, carers and everybody else that's involved with the welfare of the child who is at Four Dwellings. The special needs department in Four Dwellings is quite a unique place. It supports children with all sorts of problems, whether it's uh, a physical problem, whether it's a learning difficulty, whether it's a short term or long term problem, uh, we look after it. Children are supported by outside agencies which come in and work with children both in the classroom situation, in small group areas and also within the department itself. We have a very large capable staff who will address all uh, problems that children have and hopefully we can amend those and make that child's life far better in the long run. At Four Dwellings we aim to help our children be ready for life. So we equip them with all the skills that we think that they will need in life beyond school. If you feel you'd like to know more about Four Dwellings High School, please get in touch using any of these methods. By post to Four Dwellings High School, Dwellings Lane, Quinton, Birmingham, B32 1RJ. By phone 0121 422 0131 or via our website www.fduk.info